Hi, everyone. This is Mahda Ali from the American University in Cairo. And with me today are Huda and Jasmina, who are going to an activity called PowerPoint Karaoke. Um, Huda, can you introduce yourself? And then Jasmina, introduce yourself and tell us about the activity. Uh, I'm Hoda Mustafa, and I'm the director at the Center for Learning and Teaching at AUC, Cairo, Egypt. And I'm Jasmina Najjar, and I teach academic writing and technical communication at the American University of Beirut. And I'm just going to explain what PowerPoint karaoke is. So basically, um, it's an opportunity to kind of like sharpen people's oral presentation skills and sharpen their improv skills. And what's really fun about it is basically the host or whoever um, shares a PowerPoint presentation and either an individual or a team of two or three um, have to basically improvise on the spot based on slides they've never seen before and they have to create a presentation based on whatever they're seeing and based on the theme of the PowerPoint. For example, let's say stress at work and then you have like random slides of maybe, I don't know, an elephant walking in a field followed by another random slide of, let's say, a graph that has nothing to do with work. And you need to kind of like just invent stuff uh, that kind of that has to make sense in that context. So it's quite a bit of fun. OK, and so today you and Hoda are going to do it based on this free slide deck that I downloaded from PowerPoint Karaoke site, which we'll put in resources. So um, are you guys, so usually I'd give you a minute to decide if you're gonna, how you're gonna divide the slides and you can yeah, go so one-on-one norm on one, normally. Yeah, so, so normally you'd say, okay, is it gonna be an individual? Is it gonna be a team? Um, as a team, do you wanna do, uh, you know, one slide for one person and then the other person jumps in and does the other slide? Or do you wanna both jump in and talk about each slide? you know, like I add something and then Huda jumps in and finishes that particular slide. So you have different options and configurations. Who usually manages the slides? Is it the, the tutor or, you know, the teacher or the host, or do you guys usually have access to the slides? Just yeah. The yeah. Yeah, because, yeah, we're not supposed to have seen the slides before. Right, so you shouldn't have the link. That makes sense. Yes, okay. exactly. All right, sounds good. So I'm going to give you 10 minutes. Uh, I'm going to share the slide deck now and I'll start my timer and you guys, who's going to start first? So Jasmina, we're going to tag team it, right? So we're going to jump. Okay. Yeah. For, yeah. Should we, uh, should we do it like last, like the last time I jump in first and then you follow yeah. up or do you want to do it reverse? I'm happy either way. Let's do it like last time. It worked really well. All right. Okay. okay. And then you know when, I, when you need to switch slides. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. All righty. So welcome to our fascinating PowerPoint presentation about healthy habits. Next. So obviously, you know, if you want to have healthy habits, you need to aim high and you need to crush all of your bad habits like a wrestler pounding at people. Uh, yeah, and you also want to focus on this eagle eye view of all the healthy habits you could possibly imagine and make sure you have a lay of the land like this wrestler's like viewing everything from up top that eagle eye. It's like a wrestler eye view of things uh, when you're looking at healthy habits. So next slide, please. Maha. And you need to remember there is, whether we like it or not, there is a gap between people who can afford to have healthy habits. They are the cool cats the kings and queens of the scene, they've got the money, they've got the resources to have their personal trainer, to have their nutritionist. And then you have the other people who they are struggling, they are grumpy, they're feeling like the underdogs, but there is hope. Yeah, and there's also this, you know, um, you can see on the right, this faking it till you make it. So you can see that cat on the right is like kind of, cool cat you can maybe perhaps allude to your healthy habits so a lot of people will say they're healthy but they're not kind of like this cat you don't know if this cat is rich and you know that bling that the cat is wearing you don't know it could board it from their cat friends so you never know uh but yeah 
healthy habits, fake it till you make it. That's an option as well. Another very important thing is you need to keep motivating yourself, like kicking yourself into action. That's very important. Keep yourself motivated. That's very important for healthy habits. And if you can't do it for yourself, ask a friend. You can always ask a friend to give you that extra push towards healthy habits, more than one friend. Let them know if you need that kick in the right direction. So friends can be great for motivating healthy habits as well. Next. And sometimes, you know, you feel like you're lost in space. You know, you're time pressed. You're hungry like a polar bear surrounded by melting ice caps, right? Because of global warming. And you will just eat anything that flies into your mouth, including junk food. But you need to be strong because you want to have healthy habits. You need to resist flying junk food from outer space. Yeah, and if, and if you fall off the wagon, like this polar bear has obviously fallen off the healthy eating habits wagon and he's eating this fish, it's delicious by the way, looking sandwich. Remember that you can always, you know, pick yourself up. It's a one-time thing. Obviously this polar bear didn't mean to eat the sandwich. It's kind of flying into his mouth. So, you know, you can always pick yourself up. Just remember that, it's important. And it's really important not to forget, you know, embracing all the healthy habits that date back to the 1980s, right? Including, you know, aerobics, getting in with new vibes as well and trying new things. Follow the health trends. Especially if it involves, you know, um, spandex. Uh, I would strongly suggest you avoid that um, you know, 80s habits are great, but uh, one thing to avoid in healthy habits, especially one of the healthy habits is, you know, um, I don't want to say, I don't know how to say it, but yeah, no one looks good in spandex. So avoiding that at all costs, great advice for healthy habits. And that's a fact. Next. Also, I mean, one of the healthy habits is we need to protect our brain cells because it's not just about our body, right? And this is why we need to beware. Meetings, they kill our brain cells. So we need to find alternate ways of doing things at work and alternate ways of just getting things done. And this kind of also, this graph can also be applied to your healthy habit roller coaster. So again, ups and downs. So this is a great representation of also how your adherence to healthy habits can also. So don't feel bad if there's a dip in your healthy habits, because again, it can always go up again. So this is motivation. Keep that graph in mind. And really embrace things like a daredevil. Keep pushing. Feel the burn, feel the intensity. Healthy habits is all about commitment. It's about going the extra mile. And, you know, just break through any barrier. I mean, this guy, you know, he doesn't care he's on fire. He's just going through that wall of fire. Look at all your obstacles like a wall of fire. You know, hopefully there's an extinguisher on the other end of this guy's attempt. But remember, there's always an extinguisher at the end of any kind of attempt for healthy habits. And remember that 75% of healthy habits is actually a simulation because you're living in a world full of virtual reality. And uh, especially, this is just a word of caution, um, remember that you shouldn't disillusion yourself as well. So. Uh, we talked about falling off the wagon, but remember, you need to be very authentic with yourself. So don't let the virtual reality of pretending that you're healthy fool you. So always try and get in touch with the reality of, of where you are. And friends are great for that as well. Support groups. And remember, you know, it is not about the clothes that you wear. It is not about the fancy workout gear. It is all about reconnecting with nature, feeling like you are a cow in a pasture, right? You are just relaxed. You are eating clean, healthy food. 
you're staying active in your field. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. I mean, that that cow looks great. I mean, super fit. That's an amazingly healthy diet. Um, and, you know, that's what we should aspire to. I mean, look at that look of content on that cow's face. I mean, we should all sort of keep that in mind, living healthy, content life. And it doesn't matter if you're not wearing pants. Hey, congratulations. <laughs> we got through the 10th miles. <laughs> it's half two minutes to go as well. That was amazing. That was so cool. <laughs> You guys did a great job. Um, We're a good tag team. Good tag team. <laughs> Take it on the road. <laughs> <laughs> and so how would you, like I was thinking in my classes, so this PowerPoint karaoke site has like all the instructions, how you might grade it and things like that, or how you might have, not grading, I guess it was for fun, but like you could have points, answers, but in a class you, you could grade it. Um, I think it's great for, um, in my class, I have students learn how to find um, images that are Creative Commons licensed and put them mm. together to make like yeah. a six word story. Great Instead idea. Of doing a six word story, they can do a, like a 10, 10 slide, 10 picture slide deck mm. for another team uh, to, to try to do this improv thing. Mm. And then it's really cool because it's okay with improv, it's really okay to mess up and do whatever, right? So it might be a good thing to get them to start to be a little bit more spontaneous and session. And I think it could be it could be a nice icebreaker towards the beginning of the semester, just to let you know um, you know the, the class feel comfortable, um, get used to one another. And as I mentioned before, I mean, given what I teach, I see this as a great tool for just you know having that confidence when it comes to oral presentations. Um, also, just being you know quick with that improv. Definitely. And I love the idea of getting students to create slide decks for one another, because I think that can really add to that fun and make students engage even more with the activity. That's for sure. Yeah. And also sort of the, the thinking on your feet, because a lot of students um, struggle with oral presentations in preparing what to say. They're not very confident in being spontaneous or improvising. Um, also speaking off slides that don't have any text on them. So they're just uh, an image. Um, and we encourage our students not to read off slides. We encourage our faculty not to read off slides and to use visual representation to relay a message that can mean many things to different people. Uh, so it's it's nice in that exercise to have them think of, you know, uh, two different teams may present two different, you could try the same slide deck with two different teams and come up with two completely different um, improvised uh, presentations. Um, so that's one thing and also the confidence. Uh, that they could actually do it. It's like when we first started, I, I had no idea that I would be able to do it. It's totally un, an unknown, uncharted. And I've done a little bit of these improv workshops before, but this was very different and it's very simple to execute as well. I love it. I think we should also do it with faculty because like you're saying, they do tend to put a lot of text and read it out, some people. And so it would be a good exercise for them to try to do something different um, with that. Okay, any other comments before we end the video? Oh, it's just right. lots of fun, I think. Yeah, yeah, I think so too. And uh, yeah, we'll put a lot of resources down for people to, to check it out a little bit further. Thank you both. Thank you. Thank you.